Thank you. Very brave to be the only man in the room, as well as John. Go easy on them, ladies. <laughs> uh, my name's Liz. I'm the chairperson of the Women in Football Committee, and I just wanted to welcome you all here today for our second event. I'm going to keep it short and sweet because I'm sure you can all smell the wonderful buffet, in particular the bacon. Um, I just wanted to tell you a bit about today. Um, it's really just an informal, relaxed day to have fun with some friends. <laughs> You're the getaway guy, you're the light in the sand When I go too far, you're a swimming pool On an August day, and you're the perfect thing to say And you play it cool, yeah, but it's kinda cute But when you smile at me, you know exactly what you do Baby, don't pretend you don't know it's true Cause you can see it when I look at you Thank you. Uh, welcome to Nation Rail Football Club. Uh, it's a little bit different for me to be talking in front of 100 women, ladies. Uh, it's usually guys. Um, uh, for those of you who don't know, East Fremantle's, uh, in terms of premierships, is the second most successful uh, club in Australia, uh, behind Port Adelaide. That's not to be confused with Port Power. Um, we haven't won one for a while, by the way. And uh, of late, though, we've got a really good uh, history and background of developing players and getting them drafted in the AFL ranks. As you'll see today, if you stay and watch the game, and one of you notice, we've got a number of girls or women involved on the uh, footy side of things. There's a lot of uh, girls who are trainers. Um, a lot of them uh, come from a sports science background or physio and they have to get up their practical hours. Uh, the league physio is a, a female, Fiona. And um, 20 years ago when I was involved in footy, there wasn't one, one female involved on that side of things. Uh, I can sort of sense your minds ticking over. Yes, they do go into the change rooms. Uh, they probably do see the odd naked body. Uh, they certainly see a lot of guys with tops off, etc. Uh, they, they are read the right act before the season. Uh, and we read the right act to the guys. The, uh, They've got to be strictly professional, uh, and, and in saying that, they, they are. But certainly there's a lot of uh, girls and women involved in Man, I think there is at most Waffle clubs. As yet, there hasn't been a uh, girl who's played Waffle senior football or Waffle Colts, I don't think. Uh, Isha Man's women's team is actually very good. They're skillful, but I guess the, the, uh, the thing that stopped them so far is uh, physical development, I guess. Their skills and decision-making are pretty good. Uh, there's never been a coach at Waffle level, Colts Reserves or League, but I guess in time uh, that will occur. There's obviously a lot of uh, very competent uh, women sports coaches. Uh, Adelaide Crows had a uh, lady who was a women's, uh, Australian women's basketball coach, and then she ended up being on the coaching staff at uh, the Adelaide Crows a few years ago. Uh, there's lots of women who are involved at, uh, as nutritionists at AFL clubs and sports psychologists. My role at 
East Fremantle besides the, well, called the coach, but it's really uh, more being a manager of people rather than a coach. Uh, I guess on match day, it's more coaching tactics and um, I guess having an understanding of football, or some understanding of football, although some supporters, when you lose, sort of question you on that. But uh, a lot of lot of staff and players involved. There's um, 66 players representing East Fremantle. There's boys who don't get a game. I think we have about 100 staff, not that I totally um, oversee all of them, but at the end of the day, um, you're, the, you're the leader of that whole group. And in this day and age, particularly the players, require a lot of, lot of feedback, a lot of communication. And so I, a lot of what I do is, is managerial. Uh, there's some interesting examples. Things happen nearly every day. Uh, the, the job is 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, so anything could happen. Last night, uh, 10 o'clock, I got a phone call from the Fremantle Dockers staff. Uh, so that's midnight in their time and uh, suggesting that the player who plays for us uh, need to be withdrawn from their team last night. So this morning we spent running around organising who we we're going to replace him with. And um, so that, that's just an example of how things can occur. Saturday night, 10 o'clock, you think, right, job's done. Tomorrow I talk to the ladies and play the game of footy. But um, that was a bit false. My baby like the finest wine and Stick with her until the end of time She's my sweet love thing She's my pride and joy On the Monday, a boy came up to me and said, Steve, I can't come to training on Wednesday. I said, why's that? He said, it's my mum's 40th birthday. I went, so? <laughs> And he said, well, you know, she'd like all, all the family there for the birthday. I said, well, you know, you've got to make a commitment to footy, come to training. You can, you can leave footy early and go to training. He, he copped it, but I, I could sense something was a little bit amiss. His, run, his mum rang me the next day. It's been a long time since uh, we've had all the family together, and I'd really uh, appreciate it if, uh, if he could come along and be part of the, the family, and we have family dinner. I said, oh, being a bit of a softy deep down, I said, okay, no worries, have a, have a good dinner. But the, this happened quite a while ago. The, uh, the moral of the story is, since that, uh, since that occasion, I've had a really good relationship with the player and, um, and also, obviously, the, the parents, and uh, they were very appreciative of that. So the thing I learned is not to, for one thing, I've always uh, harboured that, that sentiment, but definitely reinforced it is not to have... Uh, hard and fast rules sometimes, in, in the, particularly in the modern era, you need to be able to bend and massage your way through it, so to speak. I don't know if you could hear, the question was, uh, Hope, uh, we took some stat statistics for us last week up in Jordan, we're a bit light on for staff, Hope did a great job, uh, but she's in the coach's box and she was wondering if I was to speak to a, a female runner or someone in the uh, dugout before uh, giving the message whether the tone would be different. Uh, the answer is yes, I hope it would be, uh, but I'm, yeah, I'm not sure if that would make it any more effective, but it certainly certainly would uh, change the tone, that's for sure. Would I have to be more precious with the thing? Actually, I think I would, yes, yeah. I, I know when I'm talking to the uh, Fiona, who's the female physio, um, you do do adjust a few things, and she comes into our coaches' meetings at times, and um, uh, we're pretty open, but there's, there is a boundary there. Yeah. Is this a female in your life who's inspired you? Female in my life who's inspired me? Oh, Morella. <laughs> <laughs> uh, female sport or female people? Do you call me on the hop? Um, female sports people. Uh, this, this sounds very corny, I guess, but uh, uh, Mother Teresa I found inspiring. I like Lady Di a lot. I don't, know if I don't know whether she inspired me, but I liked her a lot. Uh, there's lots of, but we're in really good female sports people. I remember, um, uh, you know, Kathy Freeman winning the 400 metres Olympics, lots of our swimmers. Uh, Shane Gould, I remember when I was a really young kid, she... I, Used to love the Olympics and watched her win, and uh, she was pretty inspiring. But um, yeah, I guess you take inspiration from all all angles, and um, yeah, that's just a couple of them. 
So anyhow, I'll wind it up there. Um, oh, one last question. Hi. Yes. Uh, we'll see how we go. Next Saturday we could be playing in a game that decides whether we make the finals or not. Um, we, fin we finish things at 6.30. How about you go out for dinner at 7 o'clock? So you can go to train, you can have a nice dinner. Well, what about celebrating dinner Saturday night? Put it back a day. Anyhow, on that curly note, I'll leave it and have a good breakfast. See ya.